Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Yes, we're here on the mighty set of Left, Right and Centre. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching it yesterday on, the, on Ustream. It, it's a fabulous show, but here we are. So let's talk about this week. Q close up. Well, I used to think Piers Morgan was the most annoying person you could possibly see on television. A lot of people think that about me. Now, I used to get on well with Piers till I realised he's a bit up his own backside a little bit. Trying to keep this clean, you know. I've got the OBE after all. It's just the way that he, he completely gobs off at people. And, and, and when he stormed off because of that funny man who does the weather, he's another ice skating person, um, I thought that's the end of Piers and it'll be much nicer to watch. Well, thank God for GB News and Eamon Holmes. I love watching him. I do, so I do for sure. Uh, but if you have a look now what's going on, Susanna Reid, right, daughter of Piers Morgan, isn't it? Oh, my God. Did you see her interview Boris? Well, Susanna, you are just a woman that reads the news and reads the autocue. But suddenly, you've got these wonderful opinions that put yourself level with Britain's Prime Minister that you can put him in his place. Yeah. Uh, and you're here to quote later, no one gets the better of this show. Well, he happens to be the Prime Minister. Wouldn't it be nice if you listened to what he said instead of gobbing off? I mean, why do you do it, Susanna? You're quite a nice woman, but are you, what's happened? I don't... I don't get it. The world has gone mad where someone thinks it's really clever to put the Prime Minister in his place. Well, well done you. Perhaps you should have a go. Go and sort out the problem in Ukraine. Sort out the party gates. Go and get yourself uh, COVID and nearly die. Sort out all the problems. And do you really think it's the Prime Minister Boris Johnson's fault that an old lady, a pensioner lady, has to drive round on a bus because you can't afford to warm a flat up. She should speak to the council, and that's what the council are there for, not prime ministers. So, Susanna, wind your enormous neck in, please. It's ridiculous. And anyway, she's lucky to get a fucking bus. I mean, I've, I've, you stand there forever waiting for a bus, and then eight come along. But seriously, that poor woman in that bus, what she really needs to do is go and see the council. Surely now the council will ring up and say, we've seen you on the television while well, that uh, Susanna Reid was gobbing off to the Prime Minister about you. Is there something uh, we can do? Right. The worst shocking news today is, get this, and this is shocking. Dave Chappelle is one of my favourite comedians. He's a naughty boy, isn't he? He's a black guy, and he knows that he's... He's, treading, he's crossing the line of decency. And he, he said, he say, I'm doing this for you type thing. I'm going to get in trouble. Well, he got in trouble again because a transvestment uh, supporter, uh, well, the, they were all doing this show on Netflix, a live arena type show. And ironically, Chris, Chris Rock was in the wings. And up come this person to, to smack Dave Chappelle. I bet Chris Rock, oh, fuck me. It's Will Smith on his way back. Well, so this is what happens when it's okay for someone to get out the audience and go up and slap a comedian. This is what happened. I mean, Dave Chappelle has his views on transgender people and it suddenly turns out that transgender people are the holy grail of don't go near, wrapped in cotton wool. So if you're transgender, you'll never have another joke told about you. And if you do, send some idiot to go up and fucking smack the person in the mouth. Well, that is just... Just a joke. It really is a joke. Well, I tell you what, when I go back on tour, I'm taking this bloke with me. Yes, look at him. Billy Billingham. Do you watch him on the television? He's lovely. He's rugged. He's got that face that looks like his parents taught him to eat with a fork. And you'll get to hear all about his parents because Billy Billingham on this Sunday is being interviewed on our channel, Ustream, by the great Alex Belfield. And it's the first time I've ever seen Alex Belfield interview someone like that. <laughs> he was watching his P's and Q's. Don't you worry about that. So it's a great show. It's on a Sunday night. And, uh, and see if you can join up and watch Left, Right and Centre. Yeah, I tell you, it's a great set and a great bunch of people. Uh, I'm not in it. I just tell them what to do. OBE, what do you expect? OK, folks, don't forget, tune in. Sunday night, Alex Belfield, Billy Billingham, face-to-face -face on Ustream. Fearless, brave, doesn't even cover... Billy Billingham. There was a lot of sort of gang things going on. Right at the very early age of eight, I, I can remember, it was the first time I got drunk on whiskey. And me and my two mates used to create a diversion. I'd run up the old guy's back, steal the hat and leg it. And then one day, this old guy got hold of me. He chased me and caught me. He was the maths teacher. So I, glue, I glued him to the chair. 
Okay, you you uh, glued your teacher yeah. to the chair. I went. I put all the, <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget. It. He told me even back then. So I, I was going left and right all the time, and somebody slapped me, put me back on track. And the real turning moment was when I got stabbed. The strongest man in the SAS is not necessarily the strongest man, is he? No, we've all got strengths and weaknesses, and again, in that family, well, that's why we are so successful. But I'm not like the regimental di discipline guy. Uniforms, were, I was a fucking nightmare. The regiment, when I became a sergeant major, I remember looking at emails were just, you know, <coughs> it was a big thing there. And I went, I ain't do that. I mean, what do you mean you ain't do that? You have to do it. I went, I fucking ain't. So I weren't disciplined that way, but I was disciplined enough to know. <laughs> and when you're dealing with lives, that's very serious to me. Every time you went out that door, you didn't know if you were coming back. Mm. I weren't thinking about what was going on. Was what the family back home are going. There's a Even huge brothers price. and sisters, you know, they're going, yeah. I wonder where he is. I wonder if he's in that war. I wonder if he's going to be all right.